Unit 1. How do you make graphic images? Basic design layout understanding and desktop publishing with Google Drawings. It's free and a great place to start. In this first unit we will have answers to the questions that you should ask when getting started in digital media skill development with Google Drawings. What are Google Drawings? And what can you make? With Google Drawings you can make all kinds of print, web, video and TV elements. With Google Drawings you can make all kinds of designs for print, web, social media and television. If you've never used Google Drawings, when you're in Google Docs, go to File New and just past Templates, you're going to see Drawings. You can also start a Google Drawing from Google Drive. If you see the big plus sign, you should be able to work your way to the Drawings section. To add images and photos, go to the Insert menu and drop down to choose the option where the image is located. You can add images from a variety of sources. You can upload them from your computer. You can search the web for graphics. You can use the image URL. You can get them from your Google Drive. And you can also get them from a camera. Here we're going to just search for cars. So just type in your keyword, find the image that you like, click insert, or you can drag and drop them in there. To manipulate or resize the images I suggest using the handles on the corners. This will automatically scale the height and width together and this can prevent your objects from getting distorted. One way to rotate the object to select the control point above the object it gives you a reading in degrees. Pretty cool way to get to know your way around the protractor. Let's talk about how your order or position the object on top of each other in order to organize design elements and build layers to your project. The idea of manipulative layers is another idea that Google Drawings doesn't have yet but I would expect to see at some point. Remember Cloud School has intermediate and advanced graphics classes with Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator. Most of the design elements you will add to a Google Drawing are available under the menu labeled Insert. Then there are several sources to choose from. You may have items on your computer or in your Google Drive. Try searching an image using a keyword or term to define your search. The concept of layers is used frequently in Photoshop and this concept is related to the idea of tracks in video production. Stacking, grouping and organizing design elements is a big part of building what are known as composite images and videos. Images and videos are often composed of multiple layers. You can also choose from a large selection of shapes. The geometric shapes are very useful and you should consider using shapes as design elements. Let's make a background using a rectangle. We'll make it black. And now I want to move it to the back. If you right click, you can go to order and send to back. Many commands are located in the menu drop downs. Select your object, then you can go to arrange and then order, then make your choice. Often, send to back or bring to front is the easiest strategy to stack your design elements the way you would like. Let's try this. Select multiple items and then right click to go to group. You can always ungroup the items if you need to edit or change. Logos and other design elements are created this way. Select the items that you want to group together. You might have to do shift and click to get the second item. But then you can right click and go to group. And then they'll move as one item. You can resize, scale, rotate, all that stuff. And you can ungroup later. How do you define specific image sizes? What image sizes are common for web, print and video? Today we typically use 1920 by 1080. When printing it's easier to work in inches. If you change the page setup after you start a design, the photos and design elements may get stretched or distorted. To work around this, select everything on your drawing in the edit cut. Or use your shortcut keys or right click. After you change the page size you can paste everything back in and then resize each item accordingly to the new page size.
You can pull guides out of the ruler. What file types can we create from Google Drawings? The most common graphic file type we use today is the JPG or JPEG. GIFs are popular because they support transparency and you can make animated frames. PNG format or portable network graphic is becoming more popular because you can get excellent image quality and with this file type you have the ability to have transparent areas. You can use file download as and select PNG. It's common for applications to represent clear or transparent with the light gray checkerboard pattern. At this time Google Drawing does not allow bitmap or pixel based editing like the popular Adobe Photoshop. Maybe someday. Check back for intermediate classes on Adobe Photoshop CC. It's amazing and has lots to offer anyone in the media arts fields. How do you change the fill, border and color attributes of shapes and text? Look in the menu for the icon or graphics representing the attribute or feature you would like to change. Make sure you select the text or object you want to edit first. The arrow tool is the main selection tool. If you're putting text over a really busy background or a photo, you might try adding a little line weight to the uh, outline or border. Um, white and black tends to work the best. And I would say two to three pixels uh, tends to be the right number. Font selection is an important aspect of desktop publishing and graphic design. Take some time to evaluate the emotion or feeling the shape of the letter style makes on your appreciation. The style and weight or thickness of the font can affect the message or interpretation of the words. Fonts are often classified into serif and non-serif style. The serif is the fancy end of the letter shape often giving the font a personality. Sans serif means without the serif so Arial and other fonts you might describe as smooth are typical of this category. What is cropping and masking? Cropping allows you to change the image frame and the graphic independent of each other. This means you can chop off or accentuate or focus in on a part of the image. To get into the cropping edit tool just double click, right click or go through the menu to get to crop. This is a convenient way to improve many photos. If you enlarge the photo too much the image could become pixelated. is the term used when you put a shape over a photo or image and the shape becomes the outside edge or frame from the combination. Try it, it's fun. The hardest part of this idea is finding the tiny little triangle next to the shape's icon. There are several triangles across the toolbar but this is the one you want. A favorite item. A favorite item to add is called Word Art. It's basically larger style text that allows you to edit the line weight and color separate from the field. Word Art is great for titles and subtitles. If you Word Art is great for titles and subtitles. If you need to write a paragraph, you may want to try a text box. Gradients are color blends that are used in the fill of shapes in word art text.
Adobe Illustrator has several capability advantages over drawings. One we can mention here is that you can only use a solid for borders in drawings. Their other major reason why you will want to learn Adobe Illustrator is that you can make any specific shape you want once you know how. Google Drawings allows you to make some impressive designs but you are strongly encouraged to learn how to use Illustrator for that reason amongst others. Now that you know a few concepts you are ready for a project. A great way project is to make a travel postcard, imaging some place you've been or some incredible location you want to visit someday. 3.5 inches high and 5 inches wide is a good setup or you can use the widescreen page setup option. Postcards are terrific design projects and the ideas covered here can be used in many other forms. Direct mail advertising, web graphics, video overlays and more. Let's walk through a project that has been a terrific starter project for those just getting into graphic design and always a good exercise for all skill levels. This is a sample idea and let's look at some features of this design and help you make your own. Try starting with a background image that is the main graphic for the postcard. Add a few photos of the activities or attractions the location is known for. Insert your word art title. Take time to find font styles and colors that match the postcard's theme. Using text boxes to write descriptive captions for your activities helps deliver your message. Adding shapes like rounded rectangles behind the captions can help readability. The idea of adding art and colorful objects to your design can make it more interesting. More advanced concepts in Google Drawings. Photo transparency You can change the opacity or transparency of your photos in Google Drawing. Go to Format, Adjustments, then you will see the transparency slider to adjust how see-through the photo will be. Unfortunately this does not work on shapes in Google Drawing but this can be done in Adobe Photoshop and Illustrator. Next advanced idea. Searching for PNG graphics that have transparent backgrounds. Sometimes referred to as knockout type images. When searching for images try adding the word transparency or PNG to your keywords. This will help you find images that have transparent backgrounds and will not have the boxy shape of traditional JPEGs or full frame images. You're looking for PNG images don't be surprised if you find images that actually have some type of background. It's not possible to edit photos or graphics to create these knockout type images like you can in Photoshop. Make sure you take a class or two on Photoshop and Illustrator to get advanced design capabilities and go to the next level of digital arts. The next video in the series will cover additional design techniques and ideas that you can make with Google Drawings. If you're ready to skip ahead you should check out Photoshop if you like editing photos and painting or look into Adobe Illustrator for creating any shape you can imagine. It's all happening up here. Thank you for joining Cloud School. See you next time.